How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another tutorial. My name is Brandon Sig from BNA Studios, and today we are going to be taking a look on how to install plugins in After Effects, more specifically, how to install Video Copilot's VC Color Vibrance in After Effects, because that's the question that we've been getting a lot through our tutorial since we like to use that plugin. So that's what we're going to be doing. So, as you can see, I have a fire layer with fractal noise, except it doesn't look like fire, it doesn't have the color. Now, without the VC color vibrance, I would have to make an adjustment layer and add curves. Now, curves is very fine-tuning. You have to know what you're doing in it. It doesn't even add it. You have to know what you're doing in order to make it look specifically the way you want. you got to go to the red channel, the green channel, pull that down, the blue channel, turn that down, and it still doesn't even look that great. The VC color vibrance makes it a lot easier and it also looks better in my opinion so what we're going to be doing today is installing it so what we're going to want to do is exit after effects save all right and now what we're going to want to do i actually made a short link in the description for you guys so you don't have to search all of videocopilot.net's tutorials because it's they have a lot and it's hard to find it so go to the description it's in there it's a short link click it it'll bring you here what you want to do is hit download I already downloaded it. It's also set up to my downloads folder. Make sure you know where your setup is uh, through your settings of your web browser. All right. So what we're going to want to do now is open your file explorer. Okay. Now we have Windows 10, so it might look a bit a little bit different, but it's the same pretty much. So yours will be called computer. I'll just call this PC because Windows 10. All right. So Click wherever you have your Adobe Cloud installed. We have two. We installed it on our SSD because it's faster. So click Program Files or Program Files times 86. Sometimes it's in there. It was it's on that on my home on my home PC for some reason. But we only have Adobe Creative Cloud installed in that one. So we'll go back. Ours is in Program Files, Adobe uh, After Effects CC 2015 support files plugins okay now here's all the plugins that we have installed we have twitch optical flares all that stuff element 3d all that good stuff so now hit control n or apple n depending if you're on a mac or pc and then what we're going to want to do is go to our downloads folder we'll hit v for vc this is the current version that we downloaded and this is this is the plugin that we want to dra drag to the plugins folder of After Effects. So just drag it in there. It'll ask for permission because you need an administrator. Hit continue. And bada bing, bada boom, it's in there. It's good. So exit these guys. Uh, we'll just uh, minimize that. And we'll go to After Effects. Boot it up. How's your day going? All right, it's loaded. So, VC tutorial is what we called it. And now, our adjustment layer, by the way, if you want to know how to make an adjustment layer, right click new adjustment layer. Simple stuff. Okay, so click that, go to effect. You'll have a video copilot if you don't have any tab like that before. VC color vibrance, vibrance, excuse me. And it looks like freaking Shrek shout all over the screen. Okay, but don't worry, we'll fix it. So, we'll go to red somewhere around here somewhere around here maybe like an orangish because that's usually what fire kind of looks like I say that looks good and you can also mess with certain things he has a tutorial on what you can mess with make it look better than what the uh, settings are it's a lot easier than having to drag you don't have to click like a whole bunch of buttons you just it's just a lot easier and you know in editing, we want to make life easier. So that's what Video Copilot did with this plugin. So, hope you enjoyed it. You can also uh, right click new solid. Uh, for some reason, it's freaking huge. Um, and then we'll go to the vignette. The vignette. But I don't know how to spell it, so you get what you get. And you don't throw a fit. So now we're going to go to our mask tool, ellipse tool, double click, and then invert. And hit MMM 
And then you have all the mask options. We'll feather it. We'll expand some. I say about there looks good. And bada bing, bada boom, we have fire. And it looks a lot better than it would through curves. And it was a lot faster, as you can see. So that's how you install plugins. If you ever buy a plugin, most likely they'll have folders and keys and all this stuff. But whoever gave you that plugin should have a tutorial because that's more complicated and they want you to buy the product. So they're going to make a tutorial for it. That's all I got to say. So, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and post it in the comments below. I always take a look at those every second of my life because I got nothing else to do. Just kidding. All right. Peace out, guys.